So I'm absolutely no authority on braiding garlic, um, but what I do is I like to get a nice little piece of jute twine and I just lay it flat on my surface. And then I will start with two really nice looking pieces of garlic and I'll lay them on top of that piece of twine and just crisscross them like that. And then I'll take a third piece and lay it right in the center. And then I'm gonna tie them all together and this will be the start of my braid. And I like to tie them together. I know it's kind of cheating. I see the, like, the old school way of doing it. And there's a way you can like flip the stem around and like everything is self-contained and I've tried it and I'm not good at that. So I'm gonna clip the tails of the twine for the next piece, I'm gonna lay it to the right side of the bunch, and each new stem that you put in here, you're gonna to wanna to lay it on top of the center stem. Whichever stem is laying down the center, that's where you're gonna be putting it. And then I'm gonna take the undermost lying stem. I don't know if that makes sense, <laughs> but hopefully you can see this pretty good. Um, I take the undermost lying stem and I just braid it over the top like this, and that becomes the new center, just like that. And then I'm gonna take my next piece and I'll put it on the left side and see how I just run that stem down the center again. Then I'll take this right hand stem, cross it over and now that's the center. Then we do our next center piece like this, braid. And that's it you guys, you keep going right, left, center, right, left, center until you get your braid to the length you want it and then I'll show you how I end it. So I'm just gonna keep braiding. Okay, so I've made it to the end of my braid. I'm not gonna utilize these stalks because you can see that they've got like some weird bulbs coming out and so that'd make it really hard to braid. So I'm gonna just use these in my kitchen, set these aside. Now I'm gonna continue braiding the stalks up a little ways. And then I like to bend them over on themselves like this to form a little loop and that's where I can hang it from a nail or a hook, something like that. Then I'll take my jute twine, and I'll tie a knot. Ooh, gently, try that again. I was tying it like I meant it. There we go. So essentially the garlic braid is done. I'm gonna go ahead and cut a few more lengths of jute twine so I can make a nice little bow quick because I think it makes it even cuter. Oh, I did that upside down. I'm gonna twist the braid. I can't tie a bow upside down. So there's the braid, it looks so pretty. So you can just store it looking just like this and just clip off a head as you need to use it in your kitchen.